I'm Stacy Shepherds, and we are with Faith Lutheran Church in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We are an ELCA Lutheran Church, and currently we are all online right now. Um, we're, we're doing our church remotely right now, so I'm going to be doing some children's stories and messages uh, virtually for a little bit here. So the idea is that we'll have a nice Bible verse, and then I will read a story, and then we'll discuss the story, and then we'll have a, an activity that we might do. So it might be an art activity, it might be a game, something fun. Um, and then we'll end with a prayer. So um, I want to get started, and our first lesson, uh, we're going to have a Bible verse to start with, and our Bible verse is up there on that poster. At the very top it says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Girls, want to say that with me? Let's do it one more time. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the Lord, for He, he is good. good. His, His love endures forever. forever. Okay, and I chose this Bible verse. Why do you think I might have chose this Bible verse this week? What holiday's coming up that maybe we might... Thanksgiving. Yes! Thanksgiving's coming up. And we might give some thanks on Thanksgiving, oh, don't I you think? Oh, I coming up before Thanksgiving, my birthday. Oh, and yes, she's having a birthday quite soon, too. And we're thankful for that. So the book I picked out today um, to read is called Thankful. Makes sense, right? And Thankful is a story written by Eileen Spinelli. And... The pictures, it was illustrated by Archie Preston. Okay, so this is Thankful. Do you want to sit over here, Cora, maybe, so you can see the story better? Okay, oh, and on the very first page, we see a sleepy cat. And underneath it says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 107, verse 1. And ding, ding, ding. Have you heard that before? Yeah, you yeah. It. yeah, I did. That's our Bible verse for today. So, thank you, Lazy Cat. He's giving thanks right there for his little nap, I think. All right, so thankful. The waitress is thankful for comfortable shoes. Those are important when you're walking around all day. The local reporter for interesting news. The gardener's thankful for every green sprout. That's the truth, especially in my garden, right? Where I can't get anything to grow. The firemen for putting the fire out. The poet is thankful for words that rhyme. The children for morning story time. And there's that sleepy cat again. The artist is thankful for color and light. The clown for her costume, silly and bright. The doctor is thankful when patients get well. Ooh, it looks like he's got some chicken pox. The traveler for a cozy hotel. Hey, it kind of looks like our little cozy teepee behind us. The dancer is thankful she loves the beat that stirs her heart in hips and feet. The chef is thankful for plates licked clean. The tailor for her sewing machine. The queen is thankful for afternoon tea. The beekeeper for the honey bee. The mayor is thankful for every vote. Vote me, say no to bedtimes. Oh, you guys would like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> the sailor for his sturdy boat. The birder is thankful to list a new bird. So see, he's looking to see his new birds on his little list, finding them. The pastor is thankful for God's loving word. The crafter is thankful for glitter and glue. And me, I'm ever so thankful 
for you and you and you. All right. So that is Thankful by Eileen Spinelli. And did you guys notice at all what kinds of things in here these people are thankful for? Uh, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And lots. lots and lots of different things though, right? They weren't all thankful for the same thing. The waitress is thankful for comfortable shoes. And we have here the fireman's thankful he could put the fire out. That makes a lot of sense. That's his job. And the waitress's job is to walk around all day giving people their food, so I bet her feet would get tired. So a lot of these people are thankful for things that they do just every day, normally, right? So I think part of this book is trying to teach us to just be thankful for everyday type of things. It doesn't have to be something huge. We can be thankful for big things, but we can also be thankful for all the small things, like too. Cheese. Like cheese, <laughs> right. We'll get to that in a minute. So our activity today, um, I borrowed this from um, Big Life Journal um, online. You can find them. Um, Here comes the cheese. And yep. And so if you want to email me, in a minute you'll see, we'll go over to the board and my email's up there, but I can send you a PDF of the um, activity that you could download. Um, but anyway, it'll be a little cutout and you cut out the leaf and you can color it if you'd like. And it says, I am grateful for, or there's another template too, if you wanted to do this one instead. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. And so online it's in color, but my printer is only black and white, so I just colored over it to make it look fun. And then at the bottom they have little holes that you can punch, punch out like this, and then take some string, and they also have little leaf templates, and you can punch a hole in the bottom of those and then put them on the string. So, everyone got to, what was that? Read them. Okay, everyone in our family, including our daddy, got to do a leaf to um, remember what we're thankful for today. So, do you want to read your own? So, Cora's here. I'm grateful for mom. She's grateful for her mom. Yep. All right, Alice. I'm grateful for my friends. She's grateful for her friends. I think this one's mine. Yep, I am grateful for, I had a warm chicken sandwich today, and it's a cold day, so I was grateful for that warm chicken sandwich. Um, oh, Daddy's, we'll read Daddy's, Daddy's is kind of silly. He couldn't think of anything super big today, so he just did something normal every day. Cheese! <laughs> and we all agreed, we are thankful for cheese, aren't we? <laughs> all right, and Alice, your last one? I am grateful for my house. For my house, yes. So, this is, you can either get the template from me, or this is an easy project that you could make your own leaf and make your own leaf cutouts at home, and or you could even just think about this every day and maybe talk about it at dinner time. Everyone could go around and name one thing that day that they're grateful for. And it could be cheese. It's something as simple as cheese. Right. All right. So we're going to say a prayer now to end. Um, if you want to bow your heads, girls, here and close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your unending love. We have so many blessings in our lives. We ask that you help us to pause and be mindful of them all whether they're big or they're small. Help us also to remember that these blessings come from you. We are so grateful for all your many, many blessings. Amen. Amen. All right. Um, if we want to swivel over and take a picture of our back this again. So on there is our activity was the Family Gratitude Challenge from Big Life Journal. If you wanted to look online, um, biglifejournal.com, they have a lot of cool things for families. Um, there's my email if you wanted a copy of the template. And then our website at church is www.faithlutheranchurchgr.org. So if you're interested, you can go check us out there. All right, and thank you for listening today. Girls, you want to wave goodbye? Goodbye. Bye. Faith that sure is a rock unshakable, planted in the soil where God
that's love. 